Okay, good morning. My name is Adrian Garcia. I'm an officer with the California Highway Patrol here in Fort Tejon. And today I'd like to remind everybody about uh, school bus safety. Um, school bus safety is very important, uh, especially up here on the mountain. Uh, during our uh, school days, we have uh, lots of kids that uh, do use the school bus to go to school in the morning and, and be dropped off in the afternoon. Uh, one of the things I'd like to uh, mention is the lights on the school bus. A lot of people have some confusion as to what the lights mean. When there's a school bus and it's in front of you and it's starting to pull over, they will usually have their yellow lights that flash. That's letting the people know that they're getting ready to stop either to the right side or maybe stop right in front of you. Um, typically what happens, they will move to the right with their yellow lights flashing. That's to let you know, hey, I'm getting ready to stop. Once they stop and they have their lights flashing, legally you can still pass a school bus. They're just letting you know something's going to happen. Once their red lights come on, that means stop in both directions. If uh, the, uh, some of those school buses will have a, a stop sign that pops out to let you know, hey, you know, stop. But regardless, red lights, just like in a traffic signal, red lights mean stop. Uh, those are very important for us because a lot of our kids, uh, they're very excited to get off of the school bus. Uh, they, they like to get off the school bus, run around the school bus. Um, there's some spots that are around the school bus that, that are kind of hard to see from a regular driver, or even the school bus driver has a hard time seeing. And I have a little, uh, a little aid right here that shows the danger zones of the school bus. Uh, these are areas that the school bus driver cannot see, so if a little kid is running up on the school bus, the driver may not see him. Um, other drivers not, might not be able to see a, a child running in front of the school bus um, when they are passing uh, the school bus. So we just want to make sure that uh, everybody is uh, aware that uh, the school buses are very important for us up here, for our kids. I'm a father myself. Um, I have a child that does ride the school bus uh, in Bakersfield. And uh, one of the things I was asking her is, uh, you know, some of the safety pr procedures of uh, being on the school bus. And, and I asked her if she was told by the school bus driver what to do and what not to do. And she informed me that she has. Um, I've had uh, a few meetings with the school bus drivers up here. They're all excellent uh, drivers. I will continue to uh, talk to them. Um, I'll continue to listen to their concerns. Um, some of the things that they want me to do is be a little bit more proactive in, uh, in uh, enforcement. So um, you might start seeing a little bit more of uh, CHP driving around school bus areas, uh, preventing people from running these stop signs or the red lights. Um, these are very important to us, the school bus drivers, and especially to the kids. We have to remember that uh, uh, these are your kids. and. Uh, uh, we're giving tickets to locals up here it does not mean we're trying to make any money off of it, but it, sometimes through enforcement we have to educate people. So I just want to tell you, just be careful around school buses. If you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and call me up here at the office, Officer Adrian Garcia. I'm the uh, liaison um, up here, area code 661-248-6655, and I thank you for your time.